We very often base our choice of containment material on the level of mechanical protection our electrical installation needs. Plastic, conduit and trunking are generally used in areas where there's a need for low levels of mechanical protection, and steel containment is used when there's a need for higher levels of mechanical protection. However, this is only one quality of the material that we need to consider, and it's to completely overlook GRP containment, which has some incredible qualities that make it really adaptable for different environments where other materials just won't cut it. Before we discuss those environments, if you're watching this video on any of our social media accounts, then click the link in the description to view it as part of our free training package to help you with your CPD, and you'll receive a certificate. If you're already watching it as part of that training package, then you are breaking the mold. Let's get into it. Remember, GRP stands for Glass Reinforced Polyester, and it's basically a composite material made up of glass fibres bound together in a resin. This gives the material several attributes, but the three most important ones for this video are that it's resistant to corrosion, it has a long life, and it's extremely low maintenance. The fact that it's resistant to corrosion means that it can be used in environments where it's going to experience really harsh conditions. This could include places as seemingly benign as water treatment plants where there's lots of moisture in the atmosphere. This will attack and corrode steel containment and cause it to fail prematurely, but GRP containment will resist this effect. It may be though that the water in the atmosphere is even more damaging simply because of its location. Move the containment to the seaside and all of a sudden the moisture in the atmosphere is loaded with salt from the ocean. This becomes incredibly damaging to steel containment and can lead to very quick deterioration. And remember the seaside isn't just all donkey rides and ice creams. The shorelines will contain critically important infrastructure for offloading goods from sea to land and a failure in any part of this infrastructure can cause major problems. For example, at Shoreham Harbour down in West Sussex, there were four massive gantries and cranes needing containment for lighting and power cables. In this exposed position, subject to driving rains and salt-laden sea spray, galvanised steel containment would very soon start to corrode and break down. It's tempting to think that perhaps GRP is a bit overkill here. After all, brands like Marshall Tuflex also make PVC cable tray. Would that work? It wouldn't be ideal, no. There's two other things that containment in this type of installation would have to deal with. They are the extreme fluctuations in temperature that it would experience and the constant exposure to UV light on the south facing coast. PVC containment would be degraded over time by these types of conditions, but GRP will handle them much better. Now, from being massively overexposed to the elements to the other extreme, being hidden underground and the benefits of a containment system that requires minimal maintenance. The train line that serves London Stansted Airport has only one way in and out, which is via this tunnel. It's a critical link for the airport, and in the event of an emergency with a train, it serves as an important escape route for passengers and staff. It's also quite a dangerous area to be in due to the regular passage of trains entering and exiting the station. So, you don't want to be sending people down there for maintenance purposes on a regular basis. Add into this the fact that underground you generally have higher incidences of moisture and pollutants being thrown forcibly at the tunnel walls and anything mounted on it by the displaced air from passing trains and you've got a pretty tough environment that you don't want people going into to inspect and maintain too often. Therefore having a reliable electrical installation serving lighting, both regular and emergency, becomes not just important but potentially critical and life-saving. Again this is where GRP containment really comes into its own. Because it's resistant to moisture and pollution it makes the installation extremely low maintenance meaning that the teams responsible for keeping the electrical system up and running can make inspections on a less frequent basis, minimizing disruption and making their work much safer. Another vital aspect for electrical installations in enclosed spaces like this that also act as escape routes in emergencies is that in the event of a fire the materials that are installed don't make the situation even more dangerous due to the way they might propagate the fire or add toxic fumes to the situation. GRP is inherently low smoke and zero halogen. If exposed to fire it will not emit chlorine or other toxic halogen gases. But what class of fire rating is it? In the UK, Class 1 and Class 2 fire ratings are classifications under BS 476 Part 7, which was withdrawn in March 2025 and superseded by BSEN 13823, which assesses the surface spread of flames on building materials. Class 1 is the highest standard, indicating minimal flame spread and offering better fire resistance typically required for walls and ceilings in escape routes. Class 2 permits a slightly higher flame spread, but is still considered acceptable for many general applications. The classification is based on how far and how quickly flames spread across a material surface when exposed to heat. Class 1 materials contribute significantly less to fire development than Class 2 materials. 
The GRP containment from Marshall Tuflex comes as Class 2 as standard, but for specific installations like this one at the Stansted Tunnel, it can be made to Class 1 on request. And this meets the requirements of the rail authorities in the UK. Speaking of rail authorities, this is another area that often demands the use of appropriate materials such as GRP. Again, you've got electrical installations, servicing critical infrastructure and safety systems like supplies to signalling equipment installed in environments that are hostile to cables and switchgear, in areas that are hard to access and dangerous to work in. So, highly resistant, low maintenance containment is a must. It's important to keep in mind that GRP containment isn't just about tray. There's also cable ladders for carrying seriously heavy duty lengths of cable in tough environments, ground ducts that are constructed and designed to be buried flush with the surface of the ground, and in places where you don't really want to be disturbing the ground, such as alongside train tracks, there's cable troughing, which is designed to sit on the surface of the ground. Sort of like robust, heavy duty, UV resistant plastic trunking. Now, you can't just go install installing any old containment trackside on the railways, even if it is very good quality and of the correct nature, because the rail authorities have punishingly high standards. So you also need to take into account risks. And I don't just mean the hazards of working near trains. This risk is spelt with a Q. Risks, or Railway Industry Supplier Qualification Scheme, is the UK Rail Industry Supplier Assurance Scheme. It's designed to pre-qualify suppliers and contractors working within the rail sector, ensuring they meet rigorous health, safety, quality and environmental standards. Managed by RSSB, or the Rail Safety and Standards Board, RISCS is widely recognised by Network Rail, Transport for London and other key rail organisations. Companies must undergo regular audits and assessments to demonstrate compliance. RISCS helps streamline procurement processes by providing buyers with a trusted, standardised framework to identify capable and compliant suppliers, promoting safety and efficiency across the UK rail network. And to save you trawling around trying to find compliant products that you can install on rail jobs, Marshall Tuflex have made sure their containment products meet these standards and can be used in these environments. So those are some of the environments and situations you would probably want to use GRP containment products in. If you're watching on our training platform, then answer the multiple choice questions that follow and move on to the next video. If you're watching on one of our social media channels, then click the link to move over to the free training package and get yourself a certificate. Or you can watch the same video in the series right here to find out some hints and tips on installing this marvelous containment system. All that remains in this video is to say thank you very much for watching.